Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over how do you troubleshoot a computer issue if the computer fell off the domain or it has a trust relationship error. So what if, what if, it's just a hypothetical example, right? What if Willis comes to you tomorrow morning at, at work, right? Obviously today's Saturday, but Monday, right? Monday morning. And Willis is like, Kevin, he calls you up. Kevin, I'm having this weird issue. I log in and it says something about the trust relationship on my desktop. I know I haven't been in for 60 days because of, because of the whole pandemic. I've been working off my laptop, but I have not been working off my desktop. And it looks like my computer fell off the domain. Like something's not right here. I don't know if I read online that it says something about domain. I don't know what that is. Kevin, can you look at my computer and figure out what's wrong with it? So obviously if, if you been in IT for a while or you're troubleshooting this issue and you work help desk or IT support, you right away know you, you know how to fix it, right? You know how to, you know what the fix is. So you may have to reset the computer computer uh, desktop on the domain controller and that may not work. Or you have to delete, delete the desktop and then rejoin to the domain again. So in this scenario, the desktops are already deleted already on the domain controllers, and we're trying to rejoin it to the domain because they're having this issue right now. So let me share my screen with you, and I'm going to show you how to fix that, okay? And this is a common IT interview question, so you need to know how to do this. That's why I'm going over this. I got over this before, but today I'm going to do it using PowerShell, okay? All right, so let's do this real quick. So screen one. So here is a real-life scenario. We have Willis. Willis comes in Monday morning, right? And he's trying to log in and he is trying to log in and it's giving him this weird message security database on this. Does it does the security database on the server does not have a computer account for this workstation trust relationship. So you're, let me just draw real quick over here. Um, and you're like, Kev, what, what, what does, what the heck does that mean? Like this, right? This thing right here, like you log in. Well, this is logging in. It's just it's just not working for the dear life of him. He's just trying everything, right? It doesn't work. So what does that mean? So that that if you have access to our set tools and you have access to the server, obviously this is a server on the left-hand side, server 2016. They're not going to give you access to that. They'll probably give you our set tools. You will go into computers and see if his computer is available right here. And there's no computers here, which is odd, right? And you want to find out more about the computer. So you're, you're actually physically on his desktop, right? You actually physically go to his desk. You don't obviously remote in. It's going to probably not work. It may work. It may not work. And you see the screen right here. It says keptech.com, right? You want to know the computer name. So what we're going to do is dot slash. It's going to say desktop zero, desktop one, right? Otherwise, you could just type administrator. So if you type administrator, it will tell you desktop one. So you know the computer name is desktop one. So in this scenario, you may have a local admin account that you can log into. So a local admin account, maybe some, maybe something that gets created when you build a computer using an imaging system like SSCM, Ivanti, or something else. The, or the local admin account might be created by you and you just create it and you have a password stored for it and you just log in with that account. Typically, the local admin account has admin rights. They could do whatever they want on the computer. They could download software on the computer and do a bunch of stuff on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as the local admin account on this machine, right? And give me a second. Let me log in with the local admin account since I can't log in with Willis. So you log in with the local admin account and it's going to say welcome or administrator, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to unjoin it and then we're going to rejoin it. And that's how that should resolve that problem. And this is like a common help desk scenario type interview question. You need to know how to fix that. So someone asks you, how do you fix a computer that fell off the domain? You tell them, oh yeah, I would unjoin it and rejoin it. I would go into the C drive explorer or the C drive folder. I would go here. I would right click on this PC, go to properties. Um, I go into properties right over here and I will go all the way down I go to rename this PC, go to change. I see that it's joined or it's see like it's joined, but it's not working for some reason. I'll go back to work group. I'll put it back on a, I'll put it back on a local group, right? I'm gonna click. Okay. I'm gonna hit. Okay. And I have, a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my domain controller or my domain admin account. Does that make sense? Domain admin account, which is kevinpartner.adm. And I will unjoin it. And then I will try to rejoin it afterwards. So just give that a second. 
Where did that where did that account come from, by the way? So if you go to users right over here on my server, I created an admin account. It's Kevin Polinario slash admin. So so I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna close that, close that, close that. It's gonna make me restart. I'm gonna restart now. So now you're when you log when you go back on it, you're gonna you're gonna have three different accounts. You're gonna have one called Kevin because I created a local account called Kevin. You're gonna have another one called Willis, and you'll probably have one called Administrator. So the one that we're trying to log into is the Administrator one, which was always already logged into, right? So I'm gonna go that. I'm going to open that up real quick, right? This is Kevin. Oh, I just clicked on it by accident. Sorry, because this one doesn't have a password. It's just a regular account. So clicked on it by accident. But there's Kevin. There's Willis, there's administrator. So Willis, Willis doesn't, have a, doesn't have a password on it either. It's just, just regular accounts you log into. They don't have admin rights to it. We're going to log into the administrator one. That's the one that we, we, we care about, right? That's the most important one. So I'm going to sign out again. And I'm going to, what you do is you get your mouse and you swipe up. Or you can do control with delete. I'm going to click on the administrator and I'm going to log into that one. And now... The question is going to be the, like, if you're troubleshooting this issue, right? It's going to be a few different things you need to know. If you're if you're doing like a job interview, you 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 ask the hiring manager. The first thing I would do is I would try to ping the domain controller, so it will let you know if that if that domain controller is online, offline, if you can't respond to it. So I will ping keptech.com and see if I get a response to it, right? Ping, captuck.com. Looks like it's working now. Yep. I'm getting a reply. And sometimes it, the domain controller may not work. I will see if I could ping the DNS server, which this one is 10.1.10.2, right? It should work. And then we should be good to go after that. And then like, okay, how do you join it back to the domain? So if you go to the C Drive Explorer, you go to this PC, you right click on this PC, you go to properties, you go to it, rename this PC, you go to change, member of, you put kept.com right here and you rejoin it, right? But for me, I want to use PowerShell today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the start menu. I'm going to type PowerShell, right? If I could type today, right? To run as administrator. And then I'm going to do add computer. Domain name hevtech.com slash restart. And then it should ask for my admin password. And I may have to do slash slash like um, uh, slash the domain controller name, which I didn't have to do it here. It should re reboot. And then it should let me log in as Willis again. And if you want to know if it's working properly and if you actually are able to connect to it, if you go back to RSAT tools or you go back to your domain server, if you go back to your domain control on the left-hand side, you should see a computer right over here. If you refresh it, it's right there. That's that one. That's how you know it's working properly. So I should be able to log in with Willis again. So this is Kevtech. Kevtech. Domain controller is right there. And for Willis, I know it's welcome one. And we are good to go after that. And then that's it. Stop sharing. And that's it. And you, you let Willis know, listen, I got you. Don't worry. You're fully logged in. It's good to go after that. I'm sorry about that. I took care of you. You should be able to log in. You shouldn't have that issue anymore. And if I go back to screen one again, Willis is uh, logged in. No issues with Willis. You see he's fully 100% logged in. And he's good to go after that. And that's it. That's how you troubleshoot that issue. If a computer falls up the domain, you tell the hiring manager, I will ping it. I will ping the domain controller. I will ping the IP address. I will log in as a local admin account. I will unjoin it, rejoin it. I could rejoin it using PowerShell or I could rejoin it going to the C Drive Explorer. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right. Take care. Peace. Bye.